All right, so for uh, this project, um, the seitan bacon, uh, I'm using butterweed gluten as the base. Uh, I'm cutting it with flour, but I'm also going to be using uh, Korean black bean paste, Marmite, uh, soy sauce, and a couple other little things, uh, just to sort of give it a meaty taste. And then we're going to start in with the standard garlic powder, onion powder, uh, white pepper, uh, paprika. Uh, I can't remember what that is. Black powder, black pepper, cayenne pepper. Uh, let's see. That's the white pepper. There you go. Red pepper flakes, Maggie sauce, some Worcestershire sauce. And see, a little bit of sugar. And then we go in with the uh, black bean and marmite mix. And then that gets stirred in, and then we form our dough. So you're going to work this just like any other type of dough. Um, it's going to be a little bit more springy, a little bit more spongy than a standard bread dough, because uh, it has so much gluten. Just get everything incorporated, form a ball, and let it rest for at least an hour. And then divide it off. And don't do this technique here, because that was wasted. That was me trying to be fancy. Just uh, get it in a cylinder, get it tight, wrap in foil. Uh, you're almost like you're rolling sushi. Set your steamer up, however you, however you work it. Uh, if you have the, one of these little baskets, it's good. If you have a, the, uh, the wire basket from uh, Instapot works, or the, uh, the Chinese uh, bamboo one, you're gonna steam it for 40, 45 minutes. Now after steaming, I took it out, let it cool down on the on the uh, counter, and then I refrigerated it overnight, and it has set up and has a good texture now. It has about the texture of a summer sausage almost. All right, so first I'm going to trim this to size so it fits in the container with a little bit of room left over so that when I make up the starch slurry, which will be the fat layer, uh, it can roll uh, around and uh, encapsulate everything. So now I'm just going to peel off uh, layers uh, as thin as I can, but not too thin. I want it to have some meat to it because uh, it will be the, the ribbons of meat and the bacon. So this is my, my one and only knife trick, the unrolling of things. Anyway, so I'm going to do several layers of this until I have enough that I can fill that container and then uh, we'll start on the slurry. Okay, now our slurry is going to be tapioca uh, flour, cornstarch, and rice flour. And this will be our fat layer. Uh, I'm calling it a slurry here. Uh, but it's our fat layer and it's going to uh, be the white portion of our bacon. So. Uh, I'm adding onion powder, garlic powder, white pepper, salt, olive oil, and soy sauce. Uh, that should give it a nice sort of base flavor uh, to complement the seitan. Uh, and then add water to mix. And then we'll pour it off into a pan to heat it. And then that will start to set up. Now in this version, it went a little bit gloopy and got to this consistency of um, basically mashed, mashed potatoes. But it, they were still sticky. So in the end, it worked. Uh, and basically, I laid uh, some of the stuff in the bottom, laid a, a sheet of the seitan on top, and then just alternated back and forth until I filled up the container and used up the seitan. Uh, and I topped it off. And because I didn't quite like the look of the mashed potato-esque uh, finish on this, I up using a, uh, a slurry of cornstarch, rice flour, and tapioca starch and just mix some water in uh, so I could pour it over and then it would fill in all the gaps that I couldn't get with the spatula. And I tossed it into the fridge overnight and then just before I pulled it out, I, I tossed it into the freezer for about 30 minutes so it would firm up a little bit more. Okay, now that it's firmed up, we're going to wrap this. Uh, first, I'm going to give it a layer of rice paper um, just for giggles. Um, it ended up working out pretty good. Uh, it, Gave it a nice, for a bite, 
to the final product. Actually, looks pretty good. A little bit of a leakage where the, uh, the starch didn't set up, but once it's baked, that starch will set up. All right, and now we're going to um, get this wrapped in parchment paper first, then some foil. I'll probably double wrap this at least. Uh, and then we're going to bake it. Bake it for probably an hour. And then we will pull it out, let it sit, rest, put it back in the fridge, and then the next day we'll come back. And right now it looks kind of rough, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, the, uh, the starch and stuff is coated on the outside, but as soon as I slice into it, I can see the ribbons, and it looks pretty good. Uh, it's a little bit firmer than what I would like, <clears throat> but as I uh, play with this recipe a little bit more, I'll uh, fine-tune it so it's a little bit more soft. Uh, as long as it fries up, that's what's really important. And the fact that it is uh, firm enough to slice, if it was too soft and just sort of uh, deforming as the knife went through it, that wouldn't be good either, so uh, you got to pick your battles here. Not looking too bad. Not perfect. Looks like it's dividing along one of the one of the lines of starch. Kind of broke apart. It all broke apart on the same. Uh, oh, that one broke apart on all of them, but it seemed to have broken apart on the same layer. So that must have not have bonded. It might be where the starch layer cooled a little bit, but not too bad. Does not taste like bacon. It almost has the texture. And that this layer and that layer have a different mouthfeel, so that's good. I need to work on the um, spice combo. I need a smoke component. I need to get some liquid smoke and then add the liquid ingredients. So it has that bacon taste. It's not bad for a first attempt. Sauce stash makes it look easy. But if this was sitting in front of me with some veggies and stuff, I would nibble on it. And the rice paper does add a uh, little bit of a textural element. Like parts of the bacon where the fat grills up towards um, more solid and chewy. Uh, so that works. It might be a strategy. I think what I'll do next time is dust layers of satan in um, about a week gluten so it has that glue to it and then lay in the starch so it bonds into it. It's almost like dusting uh, chicken before you batter it. Maybe that'll work. We'll see. I will say this. This tastes more like a fatty beef than it does bacon. So perhaps mine pork belly be more like short ribs or something, or beef, beef ribs. I just want to show this real quick. Put this in the fridge overnight. A little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of uh, sriracha, and just let it go. Uh, so it changed the color a little bit. Uh, I like the texture now after it's sat in the fridge a while than it was straight out of the pan. Uh, and it has a good meaty taste to it. 
it's still not bacon, but there should be a good maybe beef. Um, but it's edible. So I'm going to play with this a bit more. Not sure where it goes. Thanks.